Hey everybody, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you Tales from the Bayou. Number 1. Within the Honey Island Swamp Lurks a Monster. Not a giant alligator, nor savage wild boar. Not even the black bear or rare Florida panthers that call the area home. Nope, it's the Honey Island Swamp Monster. First reported in 1963 by Harlan Ford and a friend, Billy Mills. Both seasoned hunters not likely to misidentify the local wildlife. The men came across the beast as it was huddled over its prey. Once the creature took notice of them, it glared angrily in their direction before running off into the swamp. The bipedal beast is said to stand over seven foot tall and weigh between four and five hundred pounds, and it's covered in dingy gray fur with longer hair on its head and sharp claws on its hands, with wide-set amber eyes that may or may not be reptilian in nature, and it emitted the foulest stench one could imagine. So is this a Bayou Bigfoot? Or, as legend goes, a crossbreed between chimpanzees that escaped during a circus train wreck and the local alligators. Although that seems pretty far-fetched, it could help explain the giant three- and four-toed footprints that have been found and casted in the area. There's even some grainy old footage. Just Google it. What are your thoughts? Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to like and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Number 2. Feeling extra forgetful, unlucky, or just wondering what in the world has been going on while you're sleeping lately? Always losing your stuff only to find it in the oddest of places? Or how about that milk you just bought that soured by the time you put it on your cornflakes in the morning? And what the hell happened to your hair through the night? You, my friend, may have a house guest. The Lutan is a small fairy-like creature that appears as a hobgoblin, elf, or even a cat, especially a white one. These mischievous little beings are said to be the spirits of unbaptized babies who delight in playing tricks on their human hosts, and sometimes even their pets. Some of their favorite hobbies include scaring farm animals, spoiling food, and hiding your stuff but they seem to have an extra flair for hair care. It seems these little guys love braiding or knotting the hair of people or even horses as they sleep. No matter how hard you try, you're not likely to catch one in the act because they usually have a magical hat or feather that can make them invisible. But never fear, you just need a good dose of salt to keep them out. Number 3 Every town has that one road. You know the one I'm talking about. It's just a little too dark, a little too secluded, and a little too creepy. Well, New Orleans is no exception. Somewhere in the east side of town is, or at least was, Grunch Road. It's said that in the long grasses and woods near the road live the Grunch. There are many theories as to their origin, and none are good. The most prevalent is that societal outcasts, such as dwarves and albinos, thought to be creations of the devil back in the day, were driven out of town and into the woods to live on their own. The isolation caused inbreeding, and the community became deformed beyond human recognition, turning into creatures that resembled humans, but with sharp teeth, goat legs, and many other abnormalities and deformities. Through the years, curious onlookers and bored teens flocked to the area to catch a glimpse of these freakish beings, but the joke was on them, as some were never seen again. Number 4. You might want to be a little extra cautious if you decide to boat through the bayous of Terrebonne Parish. Legend has it the area is home to the Latish, while some believe they're the souls of illegitimate, unbaptized infants that spend their existence lurking in the slow waters of the bayou, just waiting for a boat to pass by so they can flip it on the unsuspecting passengers. Others believe that the Latish is a human child left to the swamps to be raised by gators. As it grows, the human child is transformed into a carnivorous beast that attacks passing travelers. 
somehow these creatures possess traits characteristics and even the appearance of both its human and alligator families either way you won't find me going for a leisurely cruise on the bayous number five i know it might surprise you but there is another scary road in louisiana the long and winding bayou sal road that connects the cities of dulac and cocodri is said to be the most haunted road in the whole state the nature of the road has lent to many accidents over the years especially at night you never can tell what might just pop out in front of you ahead of the next curve people have reported seeing the spirit faces of their dead friends or relatives and others say the rigoureux suddenly appears in front of them causing them to have to slam on their brakes but the most prevalent sighting is that of a hitchhiking man luring innocent good samaritans to stop but as they slow he either vanishes or his transparent state is suddenly revealed once inside the car the haunted hitchhiker will demand treasure before he leaves or in some cases he might give the driver some treasure in exchange for a passenger or at the very least their soul in closing we hope you enjoyed today's video thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on graybeard's jewels